Hello Primary 2, I once again welcome you to the e-learning program. Once again, I'm back. It is time for religious education. We are going to see the creation, the order of creation. But before we see our lesson 3, what did we last look at in lesson 2? Lesson 2, I remember we looked at the Bible. And I remember saying that the Bible is divided into two parts. Let me hope you're remembering those two parts. Those are known as testaments, the Old and the New Testament. And I remember telling you that the first book in the Bible is known as Genesis. Since the first book in the Bible is Genesis, Genesis is all about creation. That's why today we are looking at creation. What is creation? Who can tell me what is creation? Creation is putting something into existence. When you make something, that is creation. Putting something into existence. Who created you? Who created your mother? Who created your parents? What about the teacher standing before you? We were created by God. Now today we are going to see the stages of creation. All the things we see around us. Most of all the things were made by God. Though there are some things which were made by man, but all the things we use even to make the things were all made by God. Though today my emphasis is on stages of creation. When we want to see, look at creation, in which book do we read? We are supposed to open Genesis. Remember, Genesis is the first book in the Bible. So, tell mommy, tell daddy to get you a Bible. In your free time, open Genesis chapter 1 from chapter 1, from verse 1 to verse 3. You will start seeing the things God created. Which thing did he start with? We have the stages of creation. They are here. We are going to see them. God created each and everything in seven days. My children, in seven days. Now, let us see. The first day, on the first day, what did God create? We have here the one. If you want to know what God created, on the first day, go to Genesis from verse 1. That is chapter 1, from verse 1 to verse 5. First day, God created the earth. When we talk of the earth, the earth where we are, eh? God created the earth first. From that earth, God created day and night. That was the first day. Knowing more about this, I have said with Genesis chapter 1 from verse 1 to verse 5. When we go to that two, what did he create on his second day? The second day, you read from, from verse 6 to verse 8. Still we are still in Genesis chapter 1. Second day God created the doom. The doom is known as the sky. God created the doom to separate the heaven and the earth. The what is the sky? The God saw that the doom is good. Then God was happy with that. On our third day, the third day, what did God create? Still we are still reading the Bible. My angels open the Bible. Still in chapter 1 from verse 9 to verse 13. What did he create? God created the land. The land, when I talk of the land, I mean the soil. Eh? The land where we, pick, we put buildings, the schools, the houses where we sleep. The land where we plant our crops. Eh? God created the land on the third day. From there, God added on, still on the third day, God created the water bodies. When I talk of water bodies, what do, that, what do I mean? I mean the lakes. God created the lakes. Why? To provide us with water. These lakes give us water. God created the rivers. God created the oceans, the seas. You always watch them on televisions. In Uganda here we don't have oceans. We don't have seas. But I know you see them when you watch your televisions. Still on the third day, God created the plants. All the plants you see, they were all created by God. The only thing man did, man just named the plants. Like this is the cassava plant, the mango plant, 
the banana plant, but they were created by God, and God gave man knowledge to name them. On our fourth day, the fourth day, what did God create? Therefore, fourth day, still, if you want to know more, go to Genesis, we are still in chapter 1. You start from verse 14, you read up to 19. God created light, when I talk of light, I mean the sources of light, the things which can give us light. What do you think God created to give us light? God created all things which can give us light during day, and those which can give us light at night. During day, God created the sun to help us see. God created the moon and the stars to help us at night when it is dark. We can easily see if the moon is up there and the stars. They were created by God. These were created on the fourth day. When we continue with our order of creation, the fifth day, the five, what did he make? Still, if you want to know more, we are still in Genesis. You go to verse 20 from 20 to 23, chapter 1. The fifth day, God created the living creatures in water. Which things are those living creatures in water? I mean a fish. We have a fish. Which other living things in water? You know, you know the rain, you know the whales, you know the sharks, the crocodiles. They were created on the fifth day. The living creatures in water. You do enjoy the fish. You just know that it was made on the fifth day. Uh huh. When we continue with our order of creation, this is what did our body create? Still in Genesis chapter 1, from verse 24 to 31, green, more, you will, more, you will learn more things God created. This says God created the animals. Which animals? Both the domestic and the wild animals. We told you animals are of two types. Now they were not made by me to teach you, no. Not the father, no. Not even me. But they were created by our creator in heaven, who is known as God. And the animals were created on the six. Both the domestic and the wild animal. We always enjoy the milk, the meat, and all other things we do get from animals. God made them on the sixth day. From there, God is still on the seventh day. God made the insects. Insects, what are useful and harmful insects? We have the useful insects. The one we can eat as food, the one we can sell and get money, like the grasshoppers, the white ants, they were created on the sixth day. We have the harmful insects, which are harmful to us, we the people. Those ones which can sting, like the wasps, those insects which can harm us, they were all created by God. On the sixth day, still, God made pan. God made man, when I talk of man, I mean me and you, your parents. God made us on the sixth day. And man was the last thing God created. Man was the last thing God created. Who was the first person to be created by God? Adam. Adam. Have you ever heard of Adam? Adam was the first man God created. God created this Adam and put him in the garden of Eden. When God created all these things, he made a garden. Put their plants, the animals, all those good things and put their Adam. God, I remember telling God created all those things in six days. Then on the seventh day, if you want to know more about this day, read Genesis. Now we have gone to a new chapter, that is chapter 2. Genesis chapter 2 from verse 1 to verse 4. God rested on the seventh day. God rested from work. So all these things we have seen, they were made in only six days. And on the seventh day, our God rested. So the seventh day, we call it a holy day. That's why we always go to church to worship and praise our God, to thank Him for all the wonderful things He put for us on earth. And most of all, to thank Him for the good life He gave us. Because if He wasn't the one to create us, we would not have been in existence. So my angels, make sure you read the Bible. I have said
said read in Genesis. Genesis talks about creation. And remember creation is putting something into existence. More about this is on the hard copy. You already have that work and I sent you that work. And this work I was sent, but they joined the two lessons. But our first lesson, our third lesson ends on the stages of creation. The seven. Now you will see another video showing you the fourth lesson. Please answer those questions well. Remember to put on the masks, wash your hands well, and use the sanitizer. My dear, don't joke with COVID. COVID is there and people are real dying. Thank you so much for listening.